hey guys and welcome back to my channel um welcome to part two of the series of getting ready for college today in this video i am going to talk about um ba basically i'm going to give you 10 tips for moving day 10 really awesome tips for moving day so yeah um if this is your first time coming to my channel or knowing my existence don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and yeah let's get started so when you're moving into a dorm like it's super exciting the fact that you're even going to college but it's really important to really think realistically and realistically nine times out of ten your dorm is not going to be the biggest place ever um and so it's definitely important to limit how many people are gonna come and help you out in the dorm. It really won't take long for you to move in, so, or set up. It's not gonna take as long as you think, depending on like what you want or whatever, but for all the things that you need, it's not gonna take long to move that much stuff in there, but you have to take in consideration you and your roommate if you have one. Um, she's, you know, she or he's gonna probably be moving in as well. And so you do want to take that in consideration and it's just going to be like a lot of people and that's just more chaos. So yeah, limit how many people you bring with you. I think this is a really, um, I kind of wish I already knew this tip before I went to college, but if you can, which means like if you're not flying or whatever, like if it's convenient for you, try to eliminate as many pieces of luggage as possible so um basically luggage takes especially if you're in a car luggage takes up the most room so speaking in terms of if you are driving luggage takes up the most takes up room instead of taking luggage you should pack garbage bags so just go ahead and buy a whole bunch of garbage bags and use garbage bags to pack up rather than luggage because garbage bags are more flexible and they've been here and there and that's just something that like luggage just doesn't do. Before you even bring items or before moving day, before you even start buying things for your room, look up your school or look up the banned items that may be on your school's website. So some colleges don't allow um, things that other colleges might. So, for example, someone has a list of things you can and cannot bring on their website. Um, I will definitely link that below. Um, it's like a PDF and it tells you what you can and cannot bring. But some of the items on that list that you can't bring, and this may be for all colleges, are um, microwave, AC, which I'm not really sure how you would bring an AC unit, but hey. Don't bring it. Extension cords will be taken away. You have to look into that as well. Toaster ovens, little grills, crock pots. So yeah, um, there are certain items that you can't bring. And I know also at Spelman you can't bring microwaves either. And the, to put in your room, to put in your room. Like refrigerator, you gotta get approved. So microwave, I think you have to get approved too, but good luck with that. Um, and so yeah, there are just a list of things that your college will not allow and you can get fined for it if they do pop up checks on you so definitely look that up and just kind of take it with a grain of salt so yes yeah, so Spelman 22 i definitely will be linking that down below don't even worry girl i got you definitely bring cleaning supplies i don't know if that's another obvious thing but yeah they clean the rooms or whatever but I don't know, like it's always good to, cause we don't know when they exactly clean the rooms. We don't know how they clean the rooms. And it's always good to, you know, wipe down. So bring some um, Clorox, Clorox wipes. Um, just wipe down your desk area, wipe down the bed, bring some spray, some disinfectant spray. Wipe down, um, you know, the, the bed, the bed pan before you put, you know, or the bed mattress before you put your um, comforter on there. Um, whatever just bring a broom and pan um just to keep also to sweep up but also you can keep it as well um throughout the school year while you're cleaning up your room um and yeah like that's just really important like you just want to go ahead and go behind them and 
just for your own sake, like just wipe down everything and that was kind of like a fresh start. Plan ahead for any visits and meetings you must do with in the office, right? So, um, but because moving in is going to be hectic. It's going to be hectic because, you know, we're all moving in at the same time. And it's going to be a lot of people there. So in order to avoid, you know, long lines and, you know, going in in full offices and just a whole bunch of chaos, do your best to either call or plan ahead if you need to go in for visits. Get there early. Get there like a day or two early. A day, at least a day early. Get there. And use that day to visit and do whatever financial aid. The financial aid office is going to be packed. We already know that. Like, call that ahead. Like, just do all that ahead of time so you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, tip number six um, get there at least a day early so that, like I said, you can do everything ahead of time get your just get your life together you know that way you're not rushing here here and there because you're gonna be tired like we're gonna get there a day early so that we can just plan ahead and have a moving day not be as chaotic as it will be tips are kind of going everywhere but just take it as you will honestly like with the whole moving and all this other stuff like I feel like when you're moving in, it kind of makes the room a little dirtier. And also, um, I don't know, you're gonna be tempted to lay in the bed anyway, so. You know. Basically, like I said before, your dorm nine times out of 10 is not gonna be the biggest and you can't take your whole wardrobe. So it's important to understand the state that you're moving to and you know just the weather and how things are so most colleges in in the united states have a break and basically the next break is usually thanksgiving thanksgiving is only like it's not that long but still like it's a break to go home and so um just pack up until you take your next break so whether you're going home for thanksgiving or you're gonna wait until winter break just pack until then. Say you're going home for Thanksgiving. You want to pack up until Thanksgiving. So that means you're going to pack your summer clothes and your fall clothes and maybe a few jackets here and there just just in, just in case it gets chilly. Go ahead and on your break, you can swap your clothes. So you can swap for more winter clothes. When you come back, you can pack some summer clothes up that you know you're not going to wear during the winter and then take that home, swap it with some winter clothes and come back and then just go ahead and go from there. I'm actually about to take this hit, but yeah, um, <laughs> just bring like a, a foldable car or like some type of luggage or something, um, if you can, that'll help you, you know, with lugging things back and forth from your room into to your car. Um, yeah, I think that'll be very helpful and it'll kind of like eliminate some of the physical activity, you know, like, cause it's, it's tiring, especially if you don't have an elevator, Spellman 22. Um, yeah, I think that it'll help, you know, it'll be a big, big, major help to you. So if you can, girl, do what you got to do, you feel me? Honestly, like, preferably before your roommate, that way you can get the first pick of the room, one. And two, that way you can just have more time in the day to relax and also you should see if you can get an early move-in time as well. That way you don't have to wait around or whatever, but you will need a move-in day time. And so definitely ask for early move-in time and just so that you can plan and do things ahead. So yeah, those are all the tips I have for you guys. If you would like more, definitely comment down below and let me know. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tips. Let me know what you think. And or if you have any tips of your own that you figured out, definitely comment down below and share them with me. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.